What's going on everybody? It's Josh. I did not expect to start the video out like this. Today is actually Friday. I didn't plan on filming until tomorrow, which would be Saturday because we are going to Trader's World, which is our local flea market. I've been there once in a video, like way back when I started the channel. So if you guys remember that by chance, that's where I'll be going. But I ended up checking Brick Seek and it looks like my local Target has the Spider-Man and Iron Man Homecoming two pack pop set, whatever. I'm definitely interested in getting that. So it shows they have six as of right now, but that's Brick Seek. It could have all changed by now. So I'm going to go check that out real quick. So I wanted to bring you guys along. And then I also got a couple of figures in the mail, which I want to show you right now, along with a local pickup. So the figures I got in the mail this week so far are these four Predator reaction cards. If you guys watch my Kokomo video, I picked up two of these. I did not know that they even existed, so when I got on eBay, I saw this lot of four. I got it for $35. This one is probably my favorite. One, the card back is sweet. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the bubble actually has some paint splatter on it, as well as the figure, and then this kind of holographic, whatever you call it. And then it's also limited to 2,500 pieces. I know that's probably not a huge deal, but it's still pretty cool. So this would probably be my top figure right now. And of course, the NECA kick. I ended up ordering this Dutch and this Jungle Demon, which absolutely looks sick. I can't wait to get him out of the box. I just need to make some room because on top of these two, I have two other NECA figures to unbox. And I picked this up for Sensi this week. Well, actually, Karina did. Um, shout out to the homie Roger. He actually put this on layaway for me so I could go get it. So, Cincy, this will be yours, man. Obviously, we've already talked, but once you come up here for the toy show, you will get it. So, it is raining cats and dogs out right now. We are going to head over to our local Target. Fingers crossed that that two-pack is still there. Obviously, I'll be getting it if it is. You guys are coming along, so I hope you enjoy this pre-clip of the actual hunt that I was planning. So I'll see you at Target. Okay, so after going through that tsunami of a storm that we have going on here, we finally made it into Target. Um, I wanna show you the Star Wars stuff and then I'm going to venture around and look for the two-pack. So look at this. I posted a picture of this stuff, but this is the old TFA stuff. Obviously the resistance ray wave and then some of the newer three and three-quarter stuff, but unfortunately it's all peg warming. Here's a ray. And then Black Series is just standard six-inch stuff. So far nothing, and looking at the pop section, I am not seeing anything, so I am going to go ahead and ask somebody, I guess. So no luck in the pop section, but obviously the Marvel Eye will be my next best guess, but sadly there's nothing. Still have the Homecoming Wave Vulture, Polaris, Dazzler, all the stuff from my last video, but this is my closest target, so. Then we have the Cosmic Spider-Man still, and that is my son yelling for me. So, someone is yelling for me. What do you want, dude? Daddy! Shh, shh, shh. Stop. What do you want? Well, this has honestly never happened to me before, but Brick Seek is a lie on this location. It shows that they have six on hand, but in his little handgun thing, it shows zero. But the other stores that Brick Seek says they have in stock, his does as well. So, I don't know. I guess it's uh, not going to happen today, which is a bummer, because it's kind of the only reason why we came to Target. So, I don't know. We're doing some hunting tomorrow, so I might stop down at a different Target to see if they have any. But... I guess that's it guys, so the next clip will be tomorrow morning for Traders World, so see you then. Good morning everybody, it is Saturday, we are about to head down to Traders World, um, and before we get this whole thing started, I know absolutely everybody was upset about this, but don't worry, I fixed my sunglasses. So with that, we are actually heading to a Target first since it is on our way to Traders World because of that two pack that you guys saw in the last clip that Target lied. So I'm going to try to pick up as many as I can because there's like two or three people right now that are desperately looking for it. So I'm going to try and hook them up. So the next clip will be in Target and I will see you there. Okay, so we just got to Target and it was like a 20 minutes out of the way. So it was a lot longer than we thought it was going to be. Um, but my homie Kenny, you guys have not met him yet. He's been like my best friend since like freshman year. Um, he hit me up and we are actually going to go see Spider-Man Homecoming tonight. It's current day, which is Saturday. And then we're going to do a little review for you guys. First initial thoughts or whatever. I don't consider myself a review channel or anything of that nature. But I figured with the hype that Homecoming is bringing and everybody saying how good it is, 
I want to express my thoughts and I want him to do that with me as well. So we're gonna go into Target, obviously, and try to get this homecoming pack. I'll let you guys know if we find it. I haven't looked yet. Well, now I'm looking, but toy aisle. It looks like they have Sandman Wave, Drax, Kitty Pride, Iceman, UK Spidey, 2099. Oh, and it looks like they have a wingsuit. So this is all they have. Oh, they have the King Shark Wave. The first time me seeing in retail, but I am not seeing the two pack here so I want to go check the Funko section and first time seeing this in person but boy oh boy I am not paying 60 bucks for this I don't know if you guys can tell it's not like a flat black it's like a shiny thing I don't know and boom we found it guys that Iron Man is dope so they have three um, I'm gonna hop on the syndicate page and see who needs one and pick it up for them so I just posted the picture on the syndicate but I got three of these bad boys. I'm literally so hyped. I know it probably <laughs> didn't show too much when I saw them, but very impressed with the Iron Man pop. It's super dope. So hopefully I can help a few people out if they respond, but either way, I'm gonna get all three. Um, no, I'm not a scalper, I'm not a flipper. I'm legit either trading or gifting people this that have helped me out in the past. So I'm gonna go check the Star Wars section real quick. Let's go. Star Wars wise, that is still not on clearance at this Target. And we have ATACT drivers. Snow Trooper, pretty much all the same stuff as normal, unfortunately. So yeah, the Star Wars section was pretty pathetic, but got the basket full of them. We're gonna go pay for them. He's got an apple juice, he's happy. But um, we're gonna go pay for this stuff and then head to Trader's World and hopefully the fun will start there. So see you guys in a second. So we have arrived at Trader's World. If you guys are local, you obviously know what this is. If you guys watched my video, wow, like when I first started my channel, this was like my third or fourth video. So in here, I am obviously looking for older Funko Pops, um, like some of the old X-Men Wolverine, Hot Topic exclusives, the X-Force suit, and like the brown suit Wolverine. Those are my two main ones I wanna try to get if the price is decent. Um, I'm not a cheap ass, but here I don't wanna pay eBay prices, because as you guys know, if I can find it on eBay for that price, I'm not gonna support these guys in here. Karina is probably just looking for any sort of Funko Pops. Parker is looking for, uh, well, anything to scream at, Spider-Man and these animals. I know you guys probably can't tell, but there's obviously fake animals all around here so so that's pretty much the plan guys um and then anything else that really pops out and says buy me so let me take you guys inside show you what they have shout out to that loud motorcycle and i will see you in there all right guys first booth is full of funko pops so hopefully we can find something um i was everything that you're going to see today 99 percent chance that you saw it in my last video but i'm still going to show you because there are a ton of new people here than last time so this case is pretty much just chases and maybe vaulted pops i don't know but just to put this in perspective he's asking 50 dollars for that and i got it for 25 at kokomo so shout out to kokomo and then oh my god 75 dollars for that this is absolutely stupid pricing no offense but there is no way unless well that's i think that's a chase or i don't know it's a variant gold i don't know but still 75 dollars no thanks and then beast is 35 um yeah the morphing stuff for 25 dollars is no thank you on that here's just some common pops it looks like on these and some fye exclusive stuff up there green goblin i'd love to get the chase of him So here is some more exclusive pops, I guess you could say. Here's the Underground Toys exclusive Green Goblin. I don't think it's any different than the Walgreens. I think this is from the UK or something, so correct me if I'm wrong, guys. A lot of cool older pops. This is the stuff that I love looking at, even if I don't buy a whole lot, but I miss the whole pop thing when all these were in stores and able to get for retail. And then here is just kind of an upward shot of all of the figures that he has hanging around. Kind of a lot to take in but i'll quickly just browse through this stuff and then i'll put the camera down and hunt for myself i'm on the hunt for some NECA stuff as well as you guys know i am into that game right now um this is my first time coming to trader's world 
and kind of having an open mindset on what I'm looking for other than Marvel Legends and Star Wars Black Series stuff. So I'm super excited. This is the first booth. Let's go check out some more. All right, guys, so second booth, here we go. Um, let's start with the Marvel Selects. I've been looking at this Wolverine. I honestly, I just want a blue and yellow suit. I guess, what do you call it? Tiger Stripe Wolverine? I don't know. But they have a Savage Hulk, Zombie, Sabretooth, Thanos, Thing, Brown Suit Wolverine, Thor, and Deadpool. And then we have all this stuff over here. Shout out to Foxy for real. I know he told me he loves everything Green Arrow. So DC icon right there. And some Justice League stuff. There's another Green Arrow. Wonder Woman, Batman. Animated series stuff. I wonder if Foxy has this. Here we have some of the reaction figs and then the Alien vs Predator 2 pack right there. And it looks like we have a Friday the 13th Jason fig. I know you guys have seen this because I have it, but still cool to see. And right across the aisle is another figure place. So let's go check it out. Looks like we have Nuke, Doctor Strange, Doctor Strange, we got a vision back there from Hulkbuster, Invisible Woman, Jackal, Ant-Man, and Onslaught Wave stuff. Then we have an older Greedo, a Palpatine, and a TIE Fighter pilot, Daredevil, Iceman, Doctor Strange stuff, and a UK Spidey, Captain Britain. Yep, just then we got Eel, or Electro, I'm sorry. And then Amazing Spider-Man 2 right there. Khan and Raiden and Katana. I did say that I liked these, didn't I? I really just, I really want Scorpion and Sub-Zero though, but Raiden's pretty cool. And then the Katana, she's pretty badass. She's got a ton of alternate hands with her fan blades and everything. So that's, for 15 bucks, that's actually pretty cool. Some wrestling figures. I think I did get a request to flip through some wrestling figs. So I'll show you guys what's going on here. Let's see the sides of them. I have no idea anything about the Elite Series, but I know it's pretty hot right now. And here we have some more pops over in the same booth. Um, I know you guys are gonna get super tired of me saying this, but once again, $12 for a box smashed. Honestly, I'd rather just buy the Pop Loose for a way cheaper price than that, but yeah, that was Green Goblin. He's pretty cool. I'd really like to get the Iron Spidey and the 2099 Spider-Man. Obviously that's a Walgreens exclusive, but that's one of my main ones that I'd like to get today. And then a uh, fun fact, this exact set right here, 70 bucks. I think like two years ago, I offered him like 55 and he didn't take it, but it's still sitting here. And this is kind of like the Star Wars booth, I guess you could say. So pan across here, you can kind of see what's going on. And I'm assuming the prices are still the same, 15 each or two for 25. But at least they have it separated. I will give them that. Here we go with some loose figs here and down here. Then some legacy collection stuff throughout here. It's It's been picked through a lot since I was here last time. So unfortunately, I don't think anything fantastic is going to stick out to me at the moment. Here we have some comic packs. I'm not touching that because that will fall. That's not my problem. And here is some comic packs. Yeah. We have Leia for 35. Bestman Luke for 32. Isn't God, it isn't horrible, but the box is pretty beat up. I have Leia for 35. Greedo. Old Obi Wan. Not old as an age old as in figure. And here is the outside of their booth. They do have quite a bit of figures or quite a bit of pops. But once again, man, got some cool stuff, but these are all these and then the display down there. Okay guys, so uh, Grail Call maybe? Grail Hall, I don't know what the hell, but check this out. Big old box of legends, and look who is on top just saying buy me. He's asking 35 for it. The box is very minty, so boom. Purchasing this bad boy. I wanna dig through here. We got Craven. We have Ghost Rider. I know the hype is high on him. Um, who else do we have? We got Anti-Venom. We got that chick. We have a Red Daredevil. Ooh, Superior Venom. And that's about it. Then he has some more. Alright, thanks brother. 
Got 2099 Spidey right there. Carnage is 100% coming home with me. I will see what he wants for the Superior Venom and maybe the Ghost Rider. I don't know. It just depends on price, honestly, because he's pretty cool. Um, I'd honestly, I'd probably pop him open, um, but I don't know. So this is everything that we have to look at right this second. Oh, okay, so here is just some DC icons. We have some Sideshow Hot Toy pieces right here. So Cincy, if you ever come down here, brother, here's a good booth for all that stuff. I don't know prices though. Some Lego, and we have some loose Black Series stuff right here. That's pretty cool. Okay, back to that. Sorry, he started talking. Oh, wow. The hell, this guy is freaking amazing. Look at that badass. That thing is, yeah. Wow. That is epic. Wow, he is cool as shit. I know I've been talking about that for a minute, but anyways. Um, looks like we have some more NECA stuff over here. He's pretty damn cool. You know, I'm on that Predator kick. Nightmare on Elm Street, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah, tons and tons of stuff right here. All right, back over to the Pops. I did see some that I wanted to check out. We have that Colossus. He's 25, that's not a horrible price for him. All depends on box condition though, as you guys well know. And this, you, well, I just said I wanted him, 35. There's a couple other Pop vendors around here, so we'll see what goes on over here, but yeah. Whole bunch of pops. I'm not going to zoom over absolutely everything because it probably will get boring, so I apologize. But as I'm recording, I'll be honest, I'm looking at the pops. So if for some reason I film the ground, uh, that would be why. <laughs> All right, guys. So I don't know if you'll believe this, but I got Ghost Rider, Superior Venom. Oh, wait, yeah. I got Ghost Rider, Red Daredevil, Carnage, and Superior Venom for 100 bucks total. So this booth right here in this booth he's down the main aisle um definitely come check him out if you do come to traders world let him know josh sent you um i might go back and check out some pops and stuff but i just wanted to give him a quick plug um because he really worked with me on that and 100 bucks for this 25 a piece that ain't bad all right for real i just have to reiterate on this again i am hyped on this like that's 25 dollars a big and i know i just said that in the last clip but literally i don't know i'm surprised so i will Actually, I don't know what I'm gonna do. So, $100 down, four grails, so to speak. So, yeah, let's go check out some other booths, guys. Okay, so I'm trying to calm myself down um, and not get so hyped about that Marvel Legend pickup, but as you can see, we're in a pop booth. So, let's get to this, and I will show you everything they have. I was in this booth last time for sure, I remember that, so let's go take a look. Okay, so a couple right off the bat that I see. I like this Shadow Guard in the New York Comic Con uh, TIE Fighter pilot. Man, I do like this Captain America. I wish I would have snagged this. I did have the chance to do that at retail, but I was an idiot and did not grab him. I'm taking this Hot Topic exclusive Spidey. Got that Venom, shout out to Paul. Colossus for 20, no thank you. Got that Wolverine at that. And then this Cyclops, I have been looking for. Oh man, he looks, the first time seeing him in person actually, but he looks freaking awesome. I'm gonna wait. Check out everything else first. And then ring rate that ball rod's pretty sweet. I should have picked this up when I was with Cincy. The one pop I did not know that they made was Robocop. And now I want him because obviously as a kid I watched this movie over and over and over. Um, 30 bucks, I don't know. I gotta look it up, see what's going on, but I am super stoked I found a new pop to look for. Then across the way, more pops, more pops, more pops. Got some commons and exclusives, and then as we look up, we see more quote-unquote rare ones, vaulted ones, or just hard-to-find ones. New cool Raphael. Looks like it's limited to 2,000 pieces. And then just some Walking Dead pops right here. The TIE Fighter. I think this was the Chase and the Smuggler's Bounty. I think you either got, yeah, the Chase version of it. 442nd clone. Then he has the Hobgoblin, and then the Freddy Chase. I know you can't see it because of the glare, but sorry. Then the Flash Chase, some prototype Godzillas, and a couple exclusives over there. All right, guys, another pop booth. Um, I think I'm gonna start just showing you guys cool stuff when I see it, but there's a lot of pops in here that I wanna show you because I kinda wanna pick up, but I don't know. Um, but Cam, if you're watching this, homie, I'm trying to call you right now because I see an Iceman pop that you've been wanting, so.
but there's the Iceman pop for you, dude. I'm sorry, the person you were trying to reach has a voicemail box that has not been set up yet. Please, try your call again later. Well, I guess I'm just going to get it for you anyways, dude, for your birthday. And if you already have it, then I don't know. But a couple of pops that I do see, April O'Neil is pretty dope. And then what, Bebop and Rocksteady. Then we got all these guys over here. That's a lot easier. Is this 15? Yeah. I was making sure it was. Is it all? You double check. All right, Cam, I tried calling you twice. I'm still going to pick it up because you're my homie. So happy birthday, dude. Hopefully you don't have it. Donatello, I need to start collecting those before I end up regretting not getting them. About it. The Mystique is pretty dope. And ch -ch -ch -ch. I have that one, but it's the some sort of exclusive from overseas. I don't know. It's the same thing in my opinion. That's pretty much it on this wall. So I'm going to go ahead and reach out to you guys. If anybody has this up for trade by chance and you want to hit me up with it, please get with me on Facebook, in the comment section, or on Instagram. Alright guys, so we have eight and we've done a whole bunch of other stuff either ways. Um, we're in another booth as you can tell. I think I'm going to go ahead and snag this Predator. Um, he's asking 30 for it. I'm going to try to offer him 25 just because, you know, why not? So, a couple of legends up top, but he has a bunch of DC icons. Um, I, I actually like these figs. Obviously, I'm not going to get into DC, but all the accessories and different hands and all that stuff. That appeals to me, like this zoom. I don't watch the flash, but I know he's pretty dope. And plus that head sculpt. Yeah. I mean, the detail is pretty insane on these for $27.99. And we just got some more icons down here. Got a green arrow. I texted Foxy to see if he has any of these because I would pick them up for him. But I think he's at work. And then Hasbro. You need to start doing this for Star Wars and Marvel accessory packs. I would buy them. Stuff so here. Here is a loose Mezco figure. As you know, um, I got the X Force Wolverine, so I might mess around with this, see how it is. And here is a figure. It's Zero Green Ranger. Pretty dope. I know it's just a statue, I think, but you got the communicator and then a couple actual SH figures. We got the Joker and then Harley Quinn for 70 which is probably maybe average for this i'm not for sure and here is his booth across the aisle with all of his funkos as you can obviously tell we got another emma frost shout out to walmart for hooking me up with that and here we go with another robocop pop i'm assuming he's the only one in here and it looks like 2012 so I'm going to head to a different booth, guys, but I want to let you know, I'm going to link his Facebook down in the description below. Um, if you guys, yep, shout out to the cameo. Um, so if you guys are ever in the area or if you ever want to come to Trader's World, make sure to hit his Facebook page up because he does post when he gets new pops and whatever. And so just wanted to plug that real quick. All right, guys, we are leaving Trader's World. Um, I didn't pick up the camera a whole lot towards the end just because we were going back to the stores that we already went to. I did end up picking up that Predator. I'll show you guys all of that when I get home, as always. So I think we're going to head over to Mike's Vintage. Um, we'll see. I don't know. Parker's kind of tired, so we'll see. But either way, you guys will see me later because I have to go over everything that I got. All right, guys, so I didn't record in there, but I picked up some sweet stuff. Obviously, I'm at Mike's Vintage. I will link his Instagram and, well, yeah, no, just his Instagram. That's where he uses most of his stuff with. But I got some good stuff in there. I hope you guys enjoy. I think we're going to head back home now. Because like I said, tonight at like 1030, I'm going to go see Spider-Man with Kenny. Um, so I think we're just going to hang out for the rest of the day since I drug uh, Karina and Parker all over the earth to toy hunt and stuff for you guys and me. So I'll see you guys back at home when I go over everything. All right, guys, the time has come. It is the end of the video. So I am going to show you guys up close everything that I got, just in case I forgot to show you guys earlier while I was actually inside the stores. What I picked up from Mike's Vintage was this Beast and Spider-Woman. I like Beast. I wish he would be made into the current Hasbro Legend series. I ended up getting this dope two-pack. That Iron Man is pretty damn sweet. Then at Trader's World, I picked up the clan leader, Predator. I don't know if I'm going to unbox him, honestly, just because he looks so sweet in person. But I love the orange and the red, I don't know, all the vibrant colors. So I don't know what I'm going to do, honestly. Here's just a back shot of the other figures that are available. So with this figure, that makes one, two, three, four. And then I have the Jungle Demon and Dutch, all Predator. So his neck of thing is getting pretty strong right now, guys. And now for my favorite pickups of the day, I got 
two grails, one grail. I don't know. I don't know how to say it, but let me, let me just show you. I was lucky enough to pick up Superior Venom, Red Suit Daredevil, Carnage, which is my grail right now, and Ghost Rider. Once again, I got him for $100 for all of them. So pretty much just above retail, which I know is unheard of for pretty much any of these figures. So now I'm going to show you the gifts that I got for people. Um, and these are pretty much for my homies and for people who have hooked me up and helped me out. So this is my way of repaying them and this is what I got them. This Iceman Pop is from my boy Cam the Collector. He is a fellow YouTuber and Syndicate member. So as always, I will show some love and leave his link down in the description below. Please go check him out. This one is from my boy Jimpy Zayo. He is a fellow YouTuber, so his link will be in the description below. I know I've talked about him before, so please do me a favor. Go show him some love. I picked this up for him because in my Kokomo video, he said that he wished he would have saw that Daredevil loose or whatever earlier because he wanted me to grab it. So I'm hooking him up with this. It's kind of pretty dope because I think you can put that on the wall or something. Yeah, I think you can put a, put a thumbtack in and this hangs from that whatever the hell that thing is. I'll try to get out as soon as possible. And another two pack I got for Alex. He's the one who has hooked me up in the past with my Juggernaut Pop, my Weapon X and all that. So we have worked out a trade which I am super stoked for and you guys will see what I'm getting um, probably in the next week or so. And then the homie Joey. He is getting this. Guys, he hooked me up with some super sweet pops that I've been looking for on top of an autographed Darth Maul pop. If you guys did not see that video, go check it out. There it is, right there, on top of my Qui-Gon pop. That thing is going to be a grail in my collection forever. So yeah, anyways guys, this is gonna do it for the video. I hope you enjoyed everything that I picked up. I hope you guys had a good weekend. I hope you found everything that you were looking for. Shout out to everybody that I just mentioned. Please go check their channels out. So I hope you guys are having a good day, a good evening, a good afternoon. Whenever you're watching this video, I hope it's doing good for you. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. Like I said in my last video, I'm trying to do like every weekend or every other week and go to somewhere new or at least revisit some of the local comic shops to show you guys what I have in my area. July 23rd, I will be going to a local toy show. I think since he's coming up for that, hopefully Foxy for real is. I don't know yet. So please do me a favor. If you are new here, hit that subscribe button. Comment down below and let me know that you subscribe. I am trying to literally comment back to every single person. It takes some time. But that's what I love to do is communicating with you guys in the section below. So I'm going to wrap this video up. Try to get some things unboxed because let me show you something real quick. Like you guys saw a couple videos ago, this is everything that I have piled up in my living room. So Kareen is probably like not happy about all this stuff right here though. But 99% of this stuff needs to go in totes. Well, just kidding. A lot of it's actually being open. Qui-Gon's going to be open. Homemade suit's going to be open. Um, I think a Tusken Raider, he's got to be open. And we got some Toy Biz stuff right here. Yeah, we got lots of stuff. So this is uh, three totes and I have like 12, 10 total. So yeah, that was a super long intro. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you in the next video. And as always, may the figs be with you.